Welcome to the Ausgel Podcast, where we bring the gel ball community together. Each week, we have a special guest where we talk about what's new in the world of gel ball, be it mill sims, speed ball, and everything in between. Now, welcome to our host. Hi, I'm Dan from Ausgel. And I'm Gilly, the manager of Defiance BQB Gang. I'm Kim from Laylax team. I'm Callum from Team Pahala. And I'm Niall from the Slop Raiders. And today we're joined by members from several gel ball teams to have a chat about the state of our industry and sport. All right, guys, thanks very much for coming in today. Let's thanks just guys. start off with, no, that's all right. And uh, let's just start off with a bit of a, an intro. Um, I do know that you guys are uh, hot swapping with that mic, so it could, yeah. could get quite uh, entertaining slash challenging. Um, but yeah, let's let's start off with yourself, Gilly. We'll go around the table. Uh, tell us a little bit about you, how you got into gel ball and who you're representing. Yep. Uh, so I've uh, been gel balling now for about two and a half years. Um, been playing and then changed over to being the manager which has been quite a stressful job looking after all those blokes. But it's been rewarding as well. Um, obviously, as we are here, being yep. a podcast, like, don't get to do that very often with any other people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've been enjoying that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And uh, how about yourself, Kim? You took up a uh, pretty big sponsorship as well, I hear. Yes, um, with Lalax. Yep. Um, it's a bit of an honour, especially for us and um, the yep. big guys in the team. Uh, they've been really excited about it and um, yeah. we kept everything until we <laughs> came with it, with the team name and everything like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I've been playing for about two years as well. And How'd you get into it? It was with Isaac, my 10-year-old son. Yeah. Um, nice. went, went first to the very original m one shop in 70 Mile Rocks. Yep. Um, found that. Um, actually, we were at the Mount Omni's shopping centre yeah. when, with one of Bill's shops, and um, then we went into the um, 70 Mile Rocks store. And um, I think the first bill was about a thousand dollars for three blasters, cool. um, <laughs> and everything else with it. That had to, that we, we all had know to that and feeling. And yeah, it uh, hasn't stopped. Um, That's cool, dude. Started playing with them. Um, yep, the came, slop raiders yep. afterwards, came and on um, with the slops for a little while, and it's been and, and it's been. Then you betrayed them. <laughs> you betrayed the slop raiders. <laughs> To uh, form your own team under <laughs> under Lalax, which is uh, amazing, you know. So happy for you, dude. That's oh, thank that's, you very that's much. Really yeah. good. I, heard, I heard a rumor. Yeah. Is this true that you guys had a big board meeting, like thirty people, to decide the name of Lalax? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't one of them. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but probably just clarifying on that one, um, Lalax. For those who don't know how big they are, like they they are a massive company in China. Um, they've got like a an office block. That's them, the, the entire building, you know, and, um, you know, they, they represent Prometheus, uh, Nine, Ball. Nine Ball, and there's so many different brands as Ghost. Um, yeah, there's, yeah, there's so many, like, looking yep. at them all, it's, they go, oh, this is the two, and there's, yeah. there's a, whole, a whole lot more. Oh, it's nuts. But um, you can imagine, you know, when it, when it came to having a team Lalax, um, you know, a, a sponsored team, it's their first sponsored team in the world. So you can imagine the kind of meeting that had to take place for this to go ahead. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah. they're so far apart from each other. Um, yeah. Some of it's in Tokyo, some of it's in um, Osaka where the main one is, and then yep. they come across um, wow. and might have meetings yeah. every second <laughs> week to, to a month. So that's why the decisions out. took so long. Oh, that's cool, mate. Well, um, yeah, and let, let's hear about you now. So Callum, Vice Captain of Valhalla. Um, you guys have a good sponsorship that you've just picked up now as well. Yeah, from Titan. Uh, yep. That's great, yeah. Uh, I haven't been fully a part of that part of it. That's Dale. He's yep. the big boss. Dale Galloway. Good stuff, mate. Uh, yeah, um, I'm just getting spoon-fed information as it goes through yep. that, so it's all just on the tip of the fingers at this stage. Um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, I've been in gel ball for about a year and a half, Uh yeah, it's, this is good stuff. Uh, Industry is just finally starting to just bust through the ceiling and really get out there. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, it's pretty solid. Yeah, that's cool. And look, there's a there's a Titan charger that was prepared earlier. Oh, Fantastic, right in the middle of the table. Placement. I have no idea how that was yep. placed there. And <laughs> yeah, and those cheeky Oz gels at the back there. That's as well. it. Yeah. All right. Now we don't need to know about this other guy. So no. we just oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Go on. No, I mean, I've done this spiel a thousand <laughs> times now on various different podcasts. So as everyone knows, um, I joined the gel ball crew through Dan, like 
three or four years ago now at some random event at Spec Ops. Um, from there, the slop raiders were sort of formed and has just been an, a rolling beast. Sort of changed up our team layout over the last sort of 12 months. We've gone from having a team of 30 plus people to broke it down to eight and we've recruited a few new people. So training them up to get them onto a speedball field. Cool. All right. Well, speaking of speedball, let's kick this off by diving straight into the AGBL. No particular order here. Tell us what you thought. How did it go? No, I reckon you want to go first? Oh, man, I watched from quarantine, so it was a great day. Yep. It was the highlight of my day. Straight (laughs) off of a 16-hour flight back from overseas and straight into watching a live stream of AGBL. Uh, Where where did you come from? Uh, Chilling out in Iraq this time. Iraq, oh, okay, yeah, yeah so fun place to come from. Yeah, and absolutely, then, always, yeah. always good. That's all right, at least you got the, you know, I'm, I'm sure the hotel would have been a bit of an upgrade. Always is. I had yeah. a balcony this time, I was in a junior suite, it was nice. Fantastic, all right, good stuff. Yeah. Well, I did the live feed, so everyone from South Australia was jumping on board, commenting, they loved yep. it. Just the way yeah. that the whole day ran was just on point, there was nothing that could fold about it. Yeah. The refs... On point, yep. making sure all their calls. Uh, no, shout out to, to Richie, I think it was. Yep. Uh, Ricky. Ricky. He, he was on it. Yep. Oh, you should have seen this guy. Anytime someone got hit and they were still going, boom, he was out there like a light trying <laughs> to chase him down and pull him up. <laughs> oh, he's that guy that kept running out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and he'd like tap him on the shoulder yeah, and quickly do the run back. Yeah, I love that. He was like, a, like an NFL ref he or something was, like that. yeah. Yeah. And um, concurrently, while that was happening, uh, you guys were over uh, – in the Gel City tournament, weren't you, Kim? Yeah, no, oh no, I was watching from the kitchen because I'm a chef. Yeah. Um, on the screen and watching in between the um, Gel City and. Um, <laughs> oh, I tried <laughs> to watch both live streams at once. Yeah, both live streams at once and um, yeah. got them up and then service yeah. order. <laughs> nice. And um, I hear that Valhalla did quite well in the AGBL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, took our second place. So that was oh, a nicely done. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep. Unfortunately, I wasn't part of that uh, All Stars team. But oh, you should just claim it anyway, mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Some, yeah sometimes, I was there. sometimes, yeah. but yeah, bit bit more humble these days. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I was at Gel City. Uh, the Protectors had a good day out at Gel yep. City. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Now I've got to say, you know, I mean, obviously I came out to do whatever the heck it is Ozjo does out there, which is just cheerlead nowadays. And um, I've got to say, I actually really, really enjoyed it. Like um, in the past, I've come along to events where I'll just sit on the sideline and I'll be, you know, bored out of my brain because I'm not out there playing with the teams. But the AGBL in particular, and and even Gel City, when I when I went along to uh, spectate that. I actually uh, really enjoy watching the game now. It, it sort of reminds me of watching Friday Night Footy. You know, it's um, you know it's once once you understand the rules and they're not very hard to understand, you can actually sit there, enjoy it, and cheer people on. And obviously, I've got a vested interest in um, some some team here and um, watching them play. My heart is stopping during these games, just thinking, go, go. And I want to scream something out for the from the sideline, but then I'm like, everyone's going to think I'm cheating if I do that. Uh, you, <laughs> yeah. would have, you would have had yeah. a heart attack on Wednesday night. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was watching that one. We'll, we'll talk about that one later, mate. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, um, no, pretty cool, guys. But, um, yeah, and look, we, we alluded to that. Each of your teams are picking up some big sponsorships. Some can't mention them yet. Um, <laughs> uh, reasons behind that? Just a lot of background stuff happening at the moment here. I'll take this one. So um, we've just got a lot of things happening at the moment that we're waiting to get sorted before we can announce who our major sponsor is. Yep. Um, I think the th- deal with marquees, um, yep. or some other, th- other stuff in the background. So we're just holding out until we can announce it to everyone, but it's it's moving along slowly, which is yep. good. So yeah, we're excited to announce it when that comes uh, comes to play. Yeah, That's cool. Well, and was Always looking forward to here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. And I mean, yours is, has been crazy, your journey for sponsorship as well, Kim, because um, obviously, you know, I, I do a lot of business with Lalax and, um, you know, to, to Ryan and, and Masaki-san, if you guys are watching, how you doing? Um, Thank you. But I mean, uh, like I, I knew the process you were about to undertake and it's funny because, um, you know... I, it's it's obvious, you know, I'm, I'm trying to connect some dots here and, and get people sponsorships. And with Lalax, when I ran the idea past them, um, they're basically, they started grilling me and going, right, what kind of person are we going to get, you know, and, you know, there's going to be expectations, so on and so forth. And, there's a and few I'm going, joking conversations as to who 
should run late, late yeah. the, the teams because we had conversations about yeah. the teams before they were yeah. announced. And uh, it was actually kind of a funny conversation that came about how Kim became the t- the captain of Lalax because Dan and I were joking about it. And we're like, wouldn't it be funny to get an Asian to run the Asian team? <laughs> yeah. And Dan and I <laughs> joked about it. And then we were like, yeah. well, fuck, that's actually a really good idea. Let's run yeah. with that. Well, it's, a, it's actually quite funny because one of the things that um, the Lalax guys said was, whoever it is, they need to understand that they're representing Japan. It doesn't matter where they're from. If they're representing Lalax, they're representing Japan. And I was like, are you guys like going down the race card on this one? Because uh, just in case you were, look, you got such oh, Asian guys. Yeah, so, oh, man, we went straight yeah. to the race card. There's no but, way. There's no. You know, the, the good thing with this though is they they actually are, um, you know, they're, they're a very progressive bunch. Um, some of their main focuses were they, they wanted to see more females in the sport, so they actually yeah. pushed for that, didn't they? Yeah, no, it was really good um, speaking to them when we were all, all together. Yeah. It was, um, yeah, they were happy with the decisions when I was choosing yeah. the, the team members and, and stuff yeah. like that. It was a bit different because I've got a 11, a 10-year-old, a 13-year-old, a 12-year-old. And but you've got girls. a 10-year-old that's nuts, though, on the field. Is, Man, uh, Isaac is kid. an absolute oh. weapon on the field. He is an asset. Yeah, even the Valhalla guys have seen him play. You know, it's yeah, uh, it's weird. nuts. Weird. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh. um, Mum's coming, uh, embracing it a bit more now. Yeah. Didn't like it at the start. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll, like, we'll bring her around. <laughs> yeah. Why is it? Is it? Why is it this that makes? <laughs> um, he just excels in when he plays AFL. He's got running club. He, I think he's running for this because day. pew 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 yeah. doesn't yeah. doesn't he excel in everything though? <laughs> he, he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's no. his mathematics? Yeah. <laughs> Not as good as it should be. <laughs> yes, <laughs> typical you, Asian sitting, sitting at a B, you should be. I a love plus. it. I love it. Oh, it's fantastic. All right, um, now let's talk favorite gel baller and why. Nile. Favorite gel baller. Who is your favorite gel um, baller? Can't be yourself, well, obviously. Nah. Yeah. Um, well, there's there's actually quite a few people in the community that do stand out, um, but for me personally, one of my favorites at the moment is Jade. She yep. is a f- an absolute weapon, and yeah. she damage is, cartel. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. has and is currently portraying um, the the whole women in sport to a T, and she is destroying a lot of the dudes in in the game. Um, and if any, if anyone doesn't know her, you should because she is a monster on the field. Yeah, and, absolutely. And you know what? I'm I'm going to give away some team secrets here um, because because uh, I can. Welcome to the Osgel podcast. Sorry, yeah. slops, but um, what I can tell you guys, especially for Damage Cartel who are watching, was um, I overheard some of their strategy talk, and during that last AGBL, it was basically right, guys. Team plan: everyone aim at Jade. Take Jade out. Oh and, yeah, no, that's uh, that's that not a it. secret. We we yeah. literally yeah. when when it comes to playing against Jade's damage team or the damage side that Jade is in, um, is literally take her out because she's a linchpin of that team. They all they all hang off of her because she's one of the st- their star players. So if you take her she's out, she's so aggressive. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. so aggressive. Like yeah, I think she got four or five flag hangs more than most of the dudes. That, yeah, yeah, oh, and, and so quick to the yeah. flag yeah. as well. She is. She Crazy. is a, an, an absolute standout. Player yeah. in in the sport at the moment, so she she have to be one of my one of my top players. Yeah, that's now. a good pick. She's fantastic. Like yeah. even watching, even watching it, and the the very first yeah. one that we were playing, and she didn't get the flag. The first thing she did was jump over and just leant yeah. over and just yeah. shot them straight she's up and then dropped yeah. down again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And how about yourself, Callum? Ah, uh, yeah, Chris from Hell's Gels. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, mate. Hey, Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolute legend. A eh? really approachable. So yep. nice. Like. Good with advice, quick with advice, just outstanding guy, eh? That's yeah. good. They're the kind of people you want in the sport as well, people Absolutely. who are welcoming. That's right. So, yeah. yeah. And um, how about you, Kim? It's hard to say people um, as, a, as a, just picking someone out for me. I yeah. think it's the, t- the teams. Yeah. Um, and I think with Dr. Fiance and, and Tony, and because yeah. um, mm. he was so – Brings everyone in and he's so friendly. Um, the Hallers, when we very first played um, hardcore, um, everyone is just like, "Hey, doing? Hey, doing?" Yeah. And like, and I think that's what I think this sport's about. Like, bringing mm. everyone in, mm. and no, this fun rivalry, but no animosity. Yeah. Um, but everyone's just friends, and everyone's cool. We can like have a beer afterwards. 
yeah, or something like that. Everyone can catch up, um, and that's what we do. Like we we share tra- we share trainings, and um, and do everything together. I think, um, and that's what I think. These a lot of these teams have been like they've been welcoming, and um, also but it's been fun to chat to and play against. So. Cool. All right, and how about you, Gilly? Um, not not being biased because he's my team player, yeah. but little Ricky Bobby uh, Ricky is definitely Bobby. someone to watch out for. Yeah, he has been putting in the hours for training at Gerald City nonstop. Um, standout player at the last AGBL that we had. Yep, pretty sure he was playing for a different team then. Um, Raptors maybe. Yep. Um, but yeah, since we brought him on board, he's been nothing but friendly to the guys and stuff like that. Um, and just a uh, standout player, uh, quick because he's small. Get yeah. into all those little spots on the X and stuff like that. And just a gun, like, full on. Yeah. But definitely watch out for that kid. He, he loves it. Uh, he does, he yeah. He lives and breathes it. Like exactly. He, I think mm. he's – it's all. It's always fun to watch because Ricky and um, my son Isaac and yeah. and the other Isaac who, who yep. plays with us is um, – when they when they play and especially yeah. on three on three uh, on the Joy City on Thursday nights, mm. these these kids were schooling. Yeah, uh, some are. of the other teams. Yeah. You've got yeah. three kids under the size of four foot, and they're the same height as the bloody all all the barriers. Right. You can't yeah. beat that. You can't. You <laughs> Is can't that hit. Can be you, excuse. And they're fit, <laughs> quick, disciplined. You can't hit I what mean, you can't see. Yeah, but um, you know, and and I'm gonna weigh in on this one as well because I don't actually have. Yeah, who's your favourite player, Dan? I don't have a favourite player per se, but I do have favourite um, events or favourite incidents. And, um, you know, there's there's a handful that I'll go through here. But um, So, Red, Crystal, when she, during the last AGBL, did that run where there were literally seconds oh, left on the clock. And I know that happened with a few. She hung the flag with about one oh, second left yeah, on the clock. Awesome. It, was, awesome. it was exciting. Like, I was there live streaming, and if if you go back and watch that live stream, you'll actually see the camera start to shake a bit more because I'm I'm getting excited. And, and if I wasn't streaming, I probably would have started squealing like a little cheerleader. <laughs> Spilt you my know, chips it's, um, that. Oh, it's just uh, absolutely nuts. That so that was awesome. amazing to watch. Um, Isaac, your son, when in the original AGBL, the, the exhibition yeah. one, where he played, I think it was against Valhalla's keepers as well, and he took out like four yeah. players. Everyone was screaming and yelling on the sideline, and then even the Valhalla's players, they all got up and went, whoa, what just happened? And Because, um, I mean, it isn't a case of your son just running and shooting willy-nilly. Like, everything was surgical. The way he was moving around the field, he looked like a pro player. You know, yeah. it was, that was helpful. Was so Macca, good. I, was, Macca, I was going to say, Macca. was that after Macca got in his ear? Oh, he listened, oh, he listened so. to every single word that Macca said and then yeah. executed it with precision. Yeah. Ridiculous. No, really cool. And Macca, he's another one. Every time he like he plays, I love watching him. He yeah. is super aggressive, quick, straight into the snake. Um, you know, just an having, incredible player. Having him behind you um, on a field is yeah. it's another level. Like you could yeah. you could be a good player, but with him behind you yelling out positions and giving you cover fire, yeah, it, it changes the whole dynamic on field. Yeah. Like it's it's a whole nother level. No, he's well, awesome um, you know, that the last incident that I really enjoyed, and I'm really sorry about this slops because I think it was actually against you guys, but it was um it was Aussie Elite. Um there was actually a game during the exhibition AGBL where I think it, it was like neck and neck. You know, it was a close game between the slops and and um, Aussie Elite. And I think Aussie Elite had just made this move where they're like, you know what, bugger it let's just charge this. And they all got up at the same time and it was just like this perfect extended line where they just charged forward and just, oh, well, may as well send it, you know, and um, and they did that. But it's just, you know, from from a spectator perspective, it just looks so good when you see an entire team trying to do that big push. Yeah. And, um, you know, and whenever I see a team doing that big push where they're like, right, we know we've got 30 seconds left on the clock. We need to take them out to win this match. You can see them all look at each other and they yeah. you see yeah, three, it. two, one, and yeah. they just pff, look so good. Looks so good. All right. Now, um, we'll start wrapping this up now. But uh, before we do, player collectible cards, Ooh, yay them? or nay? No. Dude, have you seen them? They're already out, man. No, they yeah. They're out? I am a collector card. You're a collector <laughs> card. I am a collector card, yeah. No. <laughs> yep. Like... It's all well and good to, to have collector cards, but this isn't the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> we are, it's not Major League Baseball. Like, I mean, yeah. when, when like, people are going to get upset and have a go at me for it, but gel ball as a sport, it's still in its, in its infancy. We haven't even broken mainstream sport yet. When we are the level of billion-dollar industries like Major League Baseball and the NBA, absolutely, let's fucking yep. let's do it. But 
at the stage that it's at now, let's just get through the politics of actually being allowed to play and put time mm. and effort into teams being able to play, maybe travel interstate to play yeah. before we go doing player cards. It's not <laughs> Digimon. You see, I, I think it's... Um, I think it's fun. I, I, I think Digimon's it's uh, it's actually quite a... Cards? Don't you mean I think Pokemon? it's a smart no, business No, it's no Digimon move. because Digimon was the shit version. Um. <laughs> Well, okay. I don't know if we can say that because we might get sued. But um, but look, I, I actually think it's a smart business decision because you know when when you look at I, I believe it's Hell's Gels that have created the cards and um, you know they, they do look like good quality cards. Don't get me wrong. They are but, they are amazing. You know, but, they are amazing um, to look at. It's a great idea. It's it's funny because I think if if I was a business and I was like, how do I make money? You know what what do people want? Oh. I want a trading card with me on it. I'll yeah. buy it, <laughs> you know. And um, and I think you know if 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 they were to put them in packs where they're just sort of random packs of cards, they and you have, have to shinies. keep buying them, they have shinies. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Um, now we're going to be weighing our we're going to be yeah. weighing our packs now, like the yeah. Pokemon players on TikTok. <laughs> nice. Now you watch this time in about three months. Hell's gels are going to be absolutely loaded. Oh, they'll with be cash. They'll be kitted oh, yeah. out like yeah. Mars. Yeah, have, sure. yeah, they won't need a sponsor. They'll yeah. just be like, yeah, we're going to sponsor money. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> No, I love it. That's uh, it's, awesome. It's, it's it's a great idea. I just yeah. think it's a little bit early. Oh, bit, you, bit premature. You'll, change, you'll change your mind when your card's worth something. <laughs> yeah. When my card's worth something. Yeah. One of the OG cards. Like, what's... Um, uh, the Pokemon card. One. The yeah. Chara, Charizard, yeah. Yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah. He's worth a mint. So yeah. imagine that. Yeah. An, an OG, an the Niles card, card. The Niles card. Like... <laughs> Yeah, the, the silver, the silver sparkly card. Yeah. Niles. Ah. There should be <laughs> a pink. <laughs> there should be a pink sparkly card. There we go. Yours. That's yours. Banned from Ozgel. There we go. Yeah. And who should have like banned across the card or something yeah. like that? That'd In be big amazing. Red. Exclusive. Yeah. And how about the Valhalla's Keepers? They're they're also oh, they're on the cards, are they? No, nah, I don't think we've uh, been a part of that. Uh, that kind of we kind of just yep. saw that when the promotion came out for it. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, we're all for it. Uh, yeah. It's just good exposure for the guys that have got the card. Like, yeah, um, yeah it's just some harmless fun. So uh, what, what, that's what we think. I'm but, sure um, all the Valhalla's Keepers were happily just kicking back and just sipping on some mead in one of their long boats. Yeah. Or yeah, um, yeah, yeah, just just doing their thing. So, yeah, 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 love it. Raiding everyone else's <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think it puts a face to yeah. the um, to the team as well yeah. because it does. Most you can of the time look at, we, yeah. we, we walk past each other with masks yeah. on, and then yeah. it's like if you can if you get a it, it does it gives a good exposure to to yeah. players teams so then people can see your name your number and I'm not going to say your, yeah. not going to say your face because they see your mask but yeah. if they got a name and a number and a jersey in a team. You, you, yeah, you can see that and go, hey, that's that's that dude. I'll tell you, <laughs> the one thing I want to oh see with oh those cards, God. I want to see Aussie Dodo, no, sorry, I want to see Red purchase the Aussie Dodo card and sell it to him for 20 bucks because he owes her 20 He owes her 20 bucks. Yeah. It's, it's a running no, joke. Yeah, yeah, it is a running joke, good. yeah. Yeah, if that'd be amazing. Dodo, All right. outside. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, look. Let's wrap it up now. Thanks a bunch for coming up, dudes. It was great awesome. having you on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having uh, us, you guys yeah. are amazing. Um, so let's go around the table. Tell those lovely people at home there how they can get in touch with you, Niall. Um, can hit us up uh, on Facebook at The Slops and also same on Instagram and um, all our purse accounts. Slopperators. If you really, really want to have a chat in person. Cool. And Valhalla's Keepers, Callum. Uh, yeah, we've got a fair bit. We have uh, Facebook. We have the Valhalla's Protectors, Valhalla's Keepers. And then on Instagram, we have each individual player as uh, VK or VP. Yeah. Uh, just go through all the lists, but you can find them on yeah. Instagram as Valor cool. Keepers and Valor Protectors. And uh, Team Ray Rex. Lalax, I mean. Team Ray Rex is um, just getting all that stuff sorted because we've just officially put our name <laughs> together this week. <laughs> yeah. All right. But your name is Team Lalax? It is Team right. Lalax. And yeah, um, didn't, didn't go with Asian Invasion? Yep. It was going to be. And two uh, round eyes. Um, they had that board <laughs> meeting and they said, no, nah, not that one. Yeah, no. All right. And Lalax is obviously a sponsor. So uh, Titan Power Batteries. So that's something to check out. And Lalax. Lalax, Nine Ball, Prometheus. Yep. Um, stay tuned when we start putting our stuff up and uh, show you builds or cool. everything yeah. you've got. And uh, yourself. Uh, so Defiant Speak UB Gang on Facebook and Instagram. That's our two ones there, yeah. Awesome. And your sponsor to be announced. TBA, yes. It's not Ausgel, by the way. I've had some people asking, so yeah. 
there. There's one more piece of the puzzle. I'm sure you've all figured it out by now, though. All right. And um, look, as always, I'm Dan from Ausgel. You can find Ausgel at www.ausgel.com.au, across all the socials as Ausgel, and on Instagram at Ausgel Ammo. Don't forget to check us out on TikTok as well. Don't judge me. Bye.